Good. Okay, well, welcome. Welcome uh, to the okay. Promoter Magazine. Yeah. We are so thrilled to have you because you're awesome. Uh, you have energy, <laughs> wonderful vibes. You know, I'm only a child, but I've watched you. So for me, you're like one of my big sisters. Oh, Do you know what I mean? As an you. artist, as an actress, as a performer, and as a black woman. So for me, this is quite a um, selfish interview because it's all the things that I'd love to have just asked you during the way. So, um, okay, cool. Let's think about... in the 70s when you first started acting. 70s, wow, well, yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, you only look 21. <laughs> yeah, and I lie all the time. Actually, I started when I was probably 10. Oh, um, no. but <laughs> What was it like for you as a young black female you... trying to break into the art scene? I tell you what, mm. I had all this arrogance about me in that I didn't think about it. Okay. It wasn't ever an issue. Right. I think the issue was my parents thought this, don't be silly, you don't see black people on the television, you're not. And I was like, right. And I'm going to be on television. I'm going to be working as an actress. Right. My mother had this friend. Mm -hmm. um, what's her name? Fluella. Fluella. And she used to dance in Germany and stuff. And she was a performer. And I thought she was the most glamorous woman in the world. Amazing. And, and I thought, I'm going to do this. I'm going to be going around and doing this stuff. So my mother had tried to put me off the business. Got me this fantastic book. And it showed um, actors. Okay. There's this little strip about being a movie star okay. and that you had to get up at like four o'clock in the morning to be ready to be on the set at six and then you spent two hours in makeup and then you did and you did get home to like 12 and then you had to start so all over again, again. and yeah. it was meant to put me off and i went like oh, this is so exciting this is for me this is me yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, i went okay yeah, i see I, I thought you didn't like getting up early morning i will get up early if it means for i'm that. doing my job right so yeah so i was lucky i went to a place called anna Shears theater so did i right now yeah, anna's so was great way. because mm. it made sure that people who who only thought about acting yeah. could actually, we couldn't afford to stay school. No, of course. Sylvia um, Young, Natalia Conte. Well, it was so young, I wasn't even there at the time. Okay. It was definitely Natalia Conte, mm -hmm. um, Barbara Speaks, Rada. 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 They were the ones right. that were around. Right. And um, I remember at the time, they were talking about joining equity, and okay. that was something like £20 a year. And that at was like time. a lot yeah. of money. Yeah. So yeah. can you imagine trying to go to a state school? It was never going to happen. Right. And I was at this, my, pri my secondary school at Star Cross, and this girl was going to Anna Shirts. And I said, oh, I want to go to drama. She said, oh, we'll come to my. And there was a waiting list of six months. That to me was an eternity. And now it's like two years. But then it was six months, and right. I thought that was really long. But I went there and bless Anna and Charles Verrill, Charles, yes. Anna Shirts and Charles, because yes. they gave us a route. Mm -hmm. They took all these people that that wanted to act, took their rawness, yes. gave them an avenue. Absolutely, all through improvisation. All through it? improvisation. Which is the cornerstone It's amazing. Arts. Because when you go to do jobs and they go to you, oh, well, can you improvise around the scene? Mm -hmm. And you're like, yeah, okay. And then actors who have not come up through that, yes. it, they always put up barriers against Real it. Real struggle. Real struggle. Just, uh, it's frightening, Just to think it? on the feet. To think on your feet, it frightens yeah. people. Because if they haven't that. got the script there to guide them, then they're lost. Whereas yeah. the script is just words. That's right. You know, what, what about you? Yeah. You know, what's your natural yeah. instinct right now? Exactly. You know? And so that was like never an issue. Like, mm. I said, yeah, cool, bye. <laughs> and so I thank them because because you can learn a script. Oh, yeah, of course. You know, of once course. you've done improvisation, Memory, yeah, you, you, it's like yeah. getting scripts. It's like, oh, this is, this is the easy bit. <laughs> but having to think on your feet, mm -hmm. which is what they've done. They also gave us a lot of background stuff about um, Chekhov and Brecht. And, and, they, and they had on their walls all this stuff. Wasn't it there when yes, you were there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Poetry Pebbles, Winston Word. And yeah, the five P's. And, and the oh, and God, that. yeah. Yes, and so we had yes. all this stuff up. And, Proper preparation um, prevents poor performance. Now, you know what? This guy was telling me this the other day. I was thinking, oh, what are the peas? What are the peas? Yes, and there's you a sing proper it at preparation. The yes. Prevents, pro prevents proper, poor performance. performance. That's it. Wicked, isn't that? Awesome, yeah. And being late. It's better to be half an hour early than mm -hmm. two minutes late. Two minutes late. And I remember... All of those little things. But you don't... This is the thing. You don't just use it as an actor. You use it in everyday life. life. In every no, so you're life. learning life skills. Yes, I couldn't imagine people turning up late. When I make an appointment to be with you, mm -hmm. I'm like, whoa, you're five minutes late. It's five minutes. You've, yeah, but come on. Right. <laughs> it's true. It's so I've, true. I've eased a lot now <laughs> since then. I was really, really bad. So yeah, in the seventies when I went up, i have done a couple of jobs whilst I was at school, mm -hmm. and then I went up for Angels, which was the nurses series. Yes. And it was myself and another girl that also went to Anna's Webley, went okay. up there. 
And there was so much other people that was up for this job. Okay. You just thought, no, oh, you know, yeah. It's too many. Why? And then talking about being late, there was a girl that ended up playing Rose Watchers, Catherine Apanovich. Okay. And she was like two hours late. She was coming from Leeds. Wow. And someone broke to her car and stuff. But they were so understanding. I thought, that's not what I was told. I was told. Anna said. Anna, Anna said. <laughs> you wouldn't even get a look in. But there we were waiting for her. She came in. You know why? Why? They thought I was the intelligent one and they wanted me to only do academic stuff. Subjects, right. And there's still that stigma. I'm a qualified drama teacher at secondary school and, um, you know, we get thrown in the kids that have special education needs and, you know, it's, it is a marginalised subject yes. and it always has been. And it's terrible because drama, like we just said a minute ago, is about more than just performance it's not just for people that want to be actors no. it's about interpersonal skills but behavioral social emotional right. skills the whole range yes. and through drama you can teach anything i've well, taught yes. science through drama you know it has got that this, yes you're right it's mathematics got a lot of stuff you know too. emotions counting yes. you know different colors and it's it's everything yeah. it's life it is life you know, and i was music. very upset about that that wow. i couldn't get to do drama because i had to do all the intellectual stuff I could do it as well. Yes. This is what I kept telling them. I could do it as well. I, got, I got dance. I insisted on but doing dance. In a way, it's quite good that they respected that I you know. were the academic. I know. I like that. You. Yeah. That is great. Yeah. That, the flip side of that. The flip side and, of that. And in, a, in effect, you were getting the hands-on real work. That's what they were saying. So, but I, I see yes. where they're coming from I know. From that's now. why I know I am. But I want to get the background information. Right, of course. You can never have too much. You, you can never have too, too much at that point. So mm. I really was just, you know, our parents, yeah, it's quite weird now when you think about that they say about young black children not achieving. Yes. Yet yeah, it was all about achieving. Yes. I couldn't bring a B on my report home. A B? B you should be proud of. No. no. Even an A minus was like a, oh, a sign well. of distress. Heavy breathing. <laughs> where's the A plus, Judith? Where's the A plus? Oh um, wow. I've done really well actually. I've got an A. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I've got, I've got an A minus, you know. I've still got an A. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, we were, because our parents were they're immigrants, they came over yes. from another country, they wanted to better their children. Where were your parents coming from? Grenada. From Grenada. Yeah, okay, yeah, came from Grenada. So they were first generation. But, uh, yeah, well, uh, we were first generation yeah. here, so we wanted to make sure that we mm -hmm. got the best out of it. But the, the odd thing was that they believed anything the teacher said. Yeah, my mum did as well. That's yeah. really sad. I mean, my mum's Nigerian, but she proper yeah. sided with the teachers. Yes! Like, mum, man, back it for me, man. <laughs> nah, you don't let them have something to tell me. That was her thing. Yeah. You know? Why you must be doing something, otherwise they wouldn't be here. I have Absolutely. nothing to tell me. So. So they did. They always backed it. Mm -hmm. And I think that the, the flip side, of what's happened now, mm -hmm. is that the children of those parents mm -hmm. who knew that they didn't do much, and the teachers were just picking on them. Yes. Now they they're going hell for a place and going down to school and cussing off the teacher. teachers. <laughs> what is that? I know. And that's I going know. way too that far. That is a bit too much. That is way too it far. It is a bit too much. But this leads me on to my next question, which is, as a parent now yourself, you've got a beautiful daughter, and Aisha, you. who you talk about, and, um, you know, you've got your partner. Are you married? No, we've you're been together for over, like, like, 30 years. Beautiful. And I met him. He's wonderful. The little DJ yeah, at your yeah, yeah. comedy show, which is awesome. Um, as a parent and a, and a pillar of our community, because you are, Judith, um, what do we do with these youngsters? Oh. Mm? And she's watching her wallpaper one time. This is the worst day of my <laughs> life. Because she wasn't allowed to go. So you have to find ways. You cannot be their friend. No. Not no. when they're children. No. You've got to be the parent because For you've sure. got to be able to say no. And there's no negotiating. I, mean, I don't mind. I like when people can try to negotiate. I actually quite like the skills of it. <laughs> but the bottom line is still no. Right. But I like you to be able to try to give me an argument. Yeah, like justify yourself. Justify yourself. yourself. I like that because then you can debate. Right. And out of the home, you must have those skills to be able True. to debate. Mm -hmm. So I like when my, my niece was the best. Because she used to do like, it's not fair, it's not fair. Whereas my niece would go, well, auntie, if we were to do it like this, what about if we do this then? How, what do you think? I said, you know what, I like your argument you're putting right, forward. Right. Oh, I can compromise a bit on that because... 